Okay, so we're back in the Mojave and we are currently in Dinky the Dino's mouth and that, that's the best starting place possible, you know? Nothing says violence, nothing says evil like a Tyrannosaurus Rex's mouth. Before we get started, I just want to say a super big thank you just to everyone who has subscribed and liked the videos and stuck around and watched. The amount of support I'm getting right now is insane. I just, I, I have no words. It really, it just means a lot to me. Thank you so so much if you have not subscribed yet maybe think about it and if you stick around for this whole video hey maybe hit the like button as well i do a lot of fallout content here and this is just a start thank you again from the bottom of my heart it means a lot so just down there is our good friend boone well you know was our good friend he's he's gone now to a better place and just over there that's manny vargas boone's former best friend if that doesn't sum up how this playthrough is going then I don't know what will. Just over that way is the old Repcom facility, and can you believe that something went very wrong over there recently? Some sort of rocket crash? I, I, I don't know too much about that. I think what we need today is a change of scenery. We've seen a lot of Novak. We've seen a lot of the southern part of the map. Hold on. What's going on here? Hello. What happened to you? Who have you been fighting? Hey, are you all right? Prim is a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. I mean, she was limping. She was basically dead already. What was I saying? That's right. We need a change of scenery. Now, of course, Helios 1 is right there and we could go in there and we could do all sorts of things. But what I'm thinking is we need to head up the highway a little bit more. We need to start making our way to the main event, which is the strip. Now, I know what you're thinking. How can you not do Helios 1? You've skipped a whole bunch of the map. There's a lot of stuff. you Listen, we will be back for all of that. Don't you fret. Don't you worry. That desert out there is huge. So many places that we could just hide a body. You guys really don't want to do this. You guys really don't want to do this. I'd be running as well, sir. Oh my god, I just uppercut his head off. We're two from two on the head punches. Can we get a third one? There we go, three from three. You know what is a sin? I've never really used the power fist too much. And it's times like this where I wonder, how can you not use something as iconic as the power fist? Brim wimped out and accepted NCR rule. Wimped out? Excuse me, sir. I helped establish law and order and taxes. <laughs> Don't you ever speak ill of me again. Now, there is a lot of ground between us and the Strip, which we can see just out there in the distance, but that's just opportunities to wreak havoc upon the law-abiding citizens of the Wasteland. It's a chance to strike fear and really feel power beyond imagination. <laughs> Why, hello there, good sir. Who are you? Howdy, little lady. Howdy yourself. That's a mighty fine guitar you've got there. Oh, this old thing? Why, thanks, friend. The lonesome drifter, he's been pouring his heart out about his father and how he left. How he left him and his mother. Yeah, he's probably dead, though. You should just get a life. Maybe I should. Don't suppose you know any place a fella with a guitar might find a job, huh? I think I might know one place. Heaven. Heaven is that place. Heaven. Here we go, an acoustic guitar, all for me. I know I'm not using guns, but a mysterious magnum? Yeah, that seems pretty cool. Have a little snack. Delicious. Thank you for your time. I hope you, I hope you have fun doing whatever it is you're gonna do now. Hey guys, something happened back there. I don't, I've got no idea. Um, pleasant travels to you. Now, if you don't know about the Mysterious Magnum, it's quite cool. Every time you pull it out... That sound plays. And when you put it away... Very cool. Very, very cool. And all you've got to do to get it is be a little evil. I'm just feeling in a punchy mood today, you know? Usually I'd be going for the big clubs and the ripper, but today I'm feeling very, very punchy. There's just something satisfying about smacking someone in the head. So there we go. The strip is getting ever closer, but before we can go there, we need to have a little bit of a pit stop. 
And where else for a better pit stop than Boulder City? See how quick that Brahmin is moving? It knows what just entered town. Oh, maybe it doesn't. Maybe, maybe it doesn't understand. Maybe it got like, you know how animals get spooked? Maybe it got a little bit spooked, but now it's okay. Should have listened to your senses, although it looks like they're leaving. Well, 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 what is this here? A memorial, a monument to those soldiers lost. You know what, sir? I'm gonna let you mourn in peace. Pay your respects in peace. Yes, I would... Hey, no, it's cool. You're, you're cool. You, It's not like I might come back and desecrate it. Hello there, Lieutenant Monroe. We've got a situation with some great cons right now. Some great cons, you say? Well, well, well. These might be some men that I have been looking for. The cons have Private Ackerman and Private Gilbert as hostages. Hostages, you say? Well, let me tell you, I am deeply concerned about their safety. I could sneak in there and try to get your people out. I really could. As soon as you free them, the rest of my squad will move in and provide covering fire. You know what? On second thoughts, I'd rather try my hand at negotiations. Normally, I'd turn you down since I have no idea who you are. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever, Lieutenant Monroe. It is quite funny how often the NCR will just go, yeah, man, you can go and do whatever. Like, they let us just go up to the Ranger outpost and ask for more men for Prim, and we got that done. So I don't see why we can't get this done either. You're supposed to be dead. I'm a ghost here to haunt you. Ooh. All right, quit fucking around. What do you mean, fucking around? This is serious, Jessup. Let's talk about settling things between you and those NCR assholes out there. Maybe I should kill a hostage because you wasted my time with this shit. Honestly, I'd be down for that, Jessup. Look, I'll call you bluff. Do it. Well, Jessup, I'm willing to hear any other suggestions you got. Otherwise, I'm about to just punch your head in. We try to bribe our way out, but seeing as how Benny didn't pay us yet. All right. You know what? Just maybe I can sort that out for you. All right, this is purely for science. I want to see if you can ensure their safety by bribing the NCR official, and then if you can just make them blast the shit out of them when they come out. 500 caps? You know what? You've got a deal. This doesn't feel quite right. I'm getting real tired of talking. Don't you worry, Jessup. The NCR trooper, I've paid him off. You can leave. And we are out of here. All right, I'm gonna take the finesse perk so that I have a higher chance to score a critical hit. It was a pleasure, Jessup. It was an absolute pleasure. But on second thought, I have changed my mind. Get him, boys. <laughs> What a bloodbath. What an absolute bloodbath. You know, this could have all been avoided, guys. This could have all been avoided. Such a shame. Such a tragedy. Hey, one of them's still alive. Bye-bye. Now, I don't know what kind of 4D chess that I am playing in my mind, but the fact that I just paid 500 caps for them to believe that they were going to escape just to fully turn that around on them, I think, I think I'm just deranged. Yeah, I think I am truly a psychopathic villain. There we go, we've got Jessup's bandana now, and I might chuck that on. There we go, look at me. I am collecting mementos at a staggering pace. I've got Boone's sunglasses on, Jessup's bandana. Yeah, these are trophies. I'm just gonna take the body away from you guys. There's, I, it's, something needs to happen, and I don't, I don't like being watched while I'm doing this activity. I hope you understand. Yum yum, a little bit of Jessup steak. You know, at this point, it's all about balance. We got some hostages freed, and the NCR think that we're pretty cool. But on the other hand, I just committed absolute cardinal sins against the Great Khans, and then I ate one of them. If only you guys knew. Oh well, one day you'll find out. And with that coming to a close, Monroe has packed up and left, and it looks like we're done with Boulder City. Now, there is, of course, one thing that I need to do before I exit this place. Hello there, sir. I I want to test my strength on the memorial stone. Um, would you be willing to let me just punch it a little? Yeah? What the fuck are you doing? 
My brother died at the Battle of Hoover Dam. You're desecrating a war memorial. I was just trying to test how strong I am. An absolutely brutal line. Perhaps the most brutal line in New Vegas. Maybe Fallout history. Private Kowalski, you are a little bitch. And your brother was too. Oh no, it's on. See this? I'm just going to quickly... I'm going to quickly... See this? I'm hiding... You're shooting the memorial now. Maybe you're the bad person. Yeah? Maybe maybe you're the bad person shooting at a memorial. You should feel ashamed. Unbelievable. You should... Your brother fought here. Look, I'll join in. I'll punch it as well. There you go. We're both bad. We're both terrible people. I'm sorry that it had to come to this. I really am. But now you're with your brother. He should be ashamed. Look at all the damage he's done here. Look at all those bullet holes. You know, if you ask me, I did a service to the people of Boulder City and the people of Greater NCR Territory. Shame on you, sir. Shame on you. And with that little piece of unpleasant business out of the way, we are able to continue on towards the strip. I'm surprised it's not lit up. Probably because of the 2009 draw distance? Maybe. Who knows? There we go. The 188 trading post. I tell you what, you ever want to make a lot of caps? This is the place to be. And who is this mysterious hooded figure? I feel compelled to talk to you. Hey. Oh, hey. Hello. Hi. No offense, but you look like you've traveled a long way down some bad roads. She knows me so well. Where did I come from? I came from the grave. Well, in that case, I take it back. You look pretty good, given the circumstances. Thank you. Well, welcome, then. I'm Veronica. I live in a hole in the ground. And that's pretty much where I came from, a hole in the ground. I had a run-in with this group calling themselves the Brotherhood of Steel. Pretty strange bunch. Do you know anything about them? Intelligence 1. I've heard they shoot lasers from their eyes. Wow. I've got to admit, you have completely defied my first impression of you. What does that mean? Eye lasers. I'll be sure and look out for that next time. Any other juicy bits of intel? That's the only intel you need. That's funny as... That's the only intel you need. Just hoping to see more of the world. Looking for a fresh perspective. I want to see how different groups... A fresh perspective, huh? Oh, I'll give you a fresh perspective, alright. I tell you what, Veronica. We can travel together. Yep. 100% we can travel together. Not right now, though. I tell you what, I'm going to get to the strip, and then I'm going to come back for you, and we're going to get up to some mischief together. Yes, we are. I'm great at punching people. I'm not going to lie. It's Me too. Me too. Veronica, is this the start of a wasteland romance? For now, you're going to have to stay here, but I will be back for you very, very soon. Where the hell did she go? Oh, there she is. Yep, that's how... Dude, she continues to impress me. Look, that is the exact way that I would use a chair as well. No, Veronica, we were meant to get a cute selfie together. You've... You will pay for this one day. And we move towards the strip again. I'm not going to lie to you. I thought for some reason Veronica wasn't going to join me. I thought that she had something against people with bad karma, and I have very, very bad karma. So I'm surprised to see that she was all aboard, but hey, the more the merrier. And I will be back for her before we even know it. I have big plans for Veronica. Big, big plans. It's times like this, along the long, empty roads, that we can reflect and really come to terms with who we are as people. You see, I didn't choose this life. It chose me. When I was shot in the head, that bullet... It scrambled something in my brain, and it was from then that I knew what I had to do. I don't really know what I'm saying, I'm just trying to fill the silence. You see, it's small humble folk like these people right here that just... Mm. It's why I do this, and it's why I will one day be back for them. You enjoy yourselves now, you hear? And there it is, it's right there. We could basically touch it. It's been a long road, it took like three whole minutes to walk here. Okay, I found myself some snazzy new armor. Look at this, it's black like my soul. Finally, we can probably get rid of that metal armor. That stuff is so heavy and cumbersome. And there it is, the gate into Freeside. We have made it to the strip. We have made it to full-on civilization. 
like that? How dare you? How dare you do that to me? And you, did you just let that happen? Oh, he survived. My respect. Lord Death. My respect. Look, those no one no one cares. You helped. You have to watch yourself in these places. You just never know what kind of evil is lurking around the corner. You ever arrive somewhere and feel like, yeah, this is where you're meant to be. It just looks so run down and sleazy and it just looks like some place where I could really, really make a difference. Now for the minute, we're going to ignore all of this and we're gonna just beeline straight for our man, Benny. Because I'm feeling quite sick in the head. I'm feeling quite sadistic. And I've got something on my mind that I just need to, I need to talk to him about. There's just something that's bothering me. Here we are, the strip, we've made it. What weapons do I get to keep actually? Just a knife? Damn, I didn't even get to bring in Chance's knife. Okay, that's fine. That's no worries because I I am not here to kill. No, 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 no. I am here. I'm here to just have a good time. I'm here to have a nice relaxing experience. And I just want to talk and maybe do some other things. What in the goddamn? Benny, when you shot me, you ran off so fast that I never got your name. You making a pass at me, sister? Benny, Benny, Benny. Is it wrong? For me to want a guy who shot me in the head? Is it wrong? Those bullets scramble your egg? Benny, you're a bad boy. And girls are like bad boys. Do I have to spell it out for you? There's Quinns and then there's... I don't even know what to call you. Benny, despite it all, I'm saying that I dig you. Just the way I was dug out of a grave. How can this be? This ain't forgiveness. It's something wrong. Benny, you'll, you'll have to remember that I am a courier. Don't you want me to handle your... F that is such a shocking line. <laughs> oh, that is such a shocking line. Keep it together. We can do this. Benny, I'm a courier. Don't you remember? Don't you want me to handle your... I can't do it. All right, honey, baby. This is all kinds of wrong, but to my sweet it is. And just like that, we're off to go and see Benny in his private suite. Yes. Yes, we are. I just... It feels so wrong, but deep down, it feels so, so right. After you, Benny. After you. No, I don't plan to kill Benny at all. And this is what makes my character truly sadistic. Benny, let's see what you've been hiding underneath that checkered suit. More than you ever dreamed, baby. Nice Charlie's, too. Hello. Oh, that was a nice bit of hey, hey, girly. Hold me. Now rest in peace to Matthew Perry, okay? The man is a absolute legend, but I think we can all agree that is some of the worst line delivery ever, ever. It's so bad that it is iconically good. I'm not going to kill Benny in his sleep. I'm just going to go to sleep with him. And we awaken, but Benny... He is gone, and I I have a good feeling that I'm going to meet up with him again one day. Yes, I am. And will you believe he even left me a note? What a romantic. Pussycat, thanks for showing this cat the best hey hey he's ever ever. Where'd you learn that 18 carat trick with the heels of your feet? I won't be around for a while, but if everything works out right, well you and me, we're a date. Got it? Now don't get clingy and try to follow me. I'm not feeling very clingy just yet, but one day I will follow you. I will find you. And we will have that date. Now, obviously, Yes Man is behind this door right here. But for now, we're going to leave Yes Man alone. I just came here so that me and Benny could hook up. A girl has needs. Now... While I've been fulfilling urges in the strip, I think it's only right that we head into the Ultra Lux. Yeah, this place is just calling to me. You know, there's just a vibe that this casino gives off. I wish I knew how to explain it. It just makes me hungry. Hello there, Heck Gunderson. Beg your pardon, stranger, but I'm looking for someone. You know what? I did see someone like that in the hotel. Oh my god, where? He's over in the bathhouse. He's wearing a skimpy two-piece bathing suit. What in creation is the matter with you? You got a real sick sense of humor. Thank you. Thank you very much. I don't think he appreciated that, but that's okay. I don't really appreciate him. Hello there, my good man. How are you today? How may I be of service, madam? 
Tell me, Mortimer, do you have any work that needs to be done? I do, but I need someone I know I can rely on, and I haven't heard a thing about you. I need to make my name more well-known in the strip. How dare you? Okay, fine. You make a persuasive argument. Well, there you go. I had wanted to come and conduct a little bit of business in here, but Mortimer, the posh man himself, well, he doesn't want to conduct business with a no-name like me. That's fine. I'll remember that. Well, there you go. I'm at a bit of a loss now. I had intended to do something in the Ultra Lux, but that's okay. That's all right. You know what? We have to think on our feet sometimes. With that little curveball that's been thrown our way, I think what we're going to go do instead is pay a quick visit to the Boomers. Yes, yes, our explosive friends at the top of the map. We're gonna go drop in with them and say a little hello. Well, I know the secret to get past. If you give me the caps, I'll tell you. If you make it back alive, I'll double your money. If I make it back alive, you're gonna double my money. You know what, George? You've got yourself a bet. Now, I don't actually know the correct way to get to the boomers. All I do is the uh, exact same thing that I've done every single time. And that is just hug the wall and jump my way to victory. It usually works. This will probably be the time that it doesn't. And there you go. We made it without too much injury, just like that. And as soon as you get down to the fence line, well, they'll just stop shooting. It's funny, even after all this time, I do not know the correct way or the way that you're intended to get to the front gate. And I'm just gonna keep it that way until the day I die. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? You better, you better stop pointing that thing at me. I didn't run all the way through the bombing, the artillery, to hear your stupid questions. Are you even human? Some kind of mutant? Do you really think that I'm scared of a punk like you? Watch your mouth, savage. Well, well, well. Raquel, you look beautiful. If only I could see you from behind that pole. <laughs> the Fallout engine has a way of just making key moments feel very special. Except you. There's something special about you, child. Another one intelligence dialogue option has shown its head. How me help you? <laughs> Eloquently put. Oh, so many ways. And just like that, we have made it inside the Boomer's base camp. And I feel like I need to do something straight away. Hey. Wow, they were all the guys. We don't have to crowd around the door, you know. There's, it's. You can branch out. Now here is the youngster I am looking for. Hello, Lindsay. Can you help me find Mr. Cuddles? Lindsay, I'll go and look for Mr. Cuddles, okay? Hey, hey, this is Editing Capra again. So, if you're familiar with New Vegas, you probably know what I think that I'm about to do. What I think I'm going to do takes place in a different part of the map with a different person. And so that will eventually happen. For now, I'm just an idiot. Sorry that you have to see me be an idiot. Let me know when you find him. Now this is very important. If we remember, when I made it to Novak, I had ensured that my teddy was kept safe. I ensured that he was given the comfort necessary. And almost like I was pointed in the direction that I needed to go. Almost like it was a sixth sense. I have found Mr. Cuddles. Come on, Mr. Cuddles. Let's get you back to safety. For most of my time in the wasteland, in the Mojave, I have not been a good person. But I feel like this, this could be the turning point for me. It's the innocence of children that will help us see the light. Lindsay, I've got great news for you. I'm sorry, Lindsay, Mr. Cuddles is dead. Oh, man. Okay, for science, we're gonna pick this. I know you're kidding. Mr. Cuddles is just hiding somewhere. I was, it was just a prank, Lindsay. I have it, I, I've, I've got him right here. Oh, thank you so much. I don't believe it. I thought I could rip her teddy bear in half. This makes me very, very disappointed. I, oh man, this is, this has gone terribly. This has gone just terribly. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. I've got to leave. I cannot believe that just happened. Why, hello, George. I bet you didn't expect to see me. I bet you thought you were going to have 300 caps forever. Jumping Jesus on a pogo stick. That is a hell of a line. That is such a great line, dude. Now, I believe you said that you would double my money. Yep. Here are your caps. That was 600 caps. Sorry about that. 
Poor memory. He tried to give me less. You actually tried to give me less then? I have sent some heads absolutely flying today. My god. I tell you what, today hasn't quite gone as planned. I had planned to do a little bit of cannibalism. I had planned to rip a teddy bear in half. But the game has kind of stopped that from happening. And so to end this off, I think maybe we just have to start a little bit of a wipeout. When all is said and done, I will eventually come for the entire wasteland. But for now, I think we can hit the gulp and grab section of the highway. <laughs> Oh no, the NCR's angry. Oh, whatever am I going to do now? I've got oh no, they hate me now. Oh, oh, I'm so, oh, that makes me really scared. I'm really upset about that. Oh no, like I care. And for good measure, we'll take out their livestock as well. Oh, I feel, uh, that, I felt kind of bad about that one. A question has been raised now. How did the NCR know it was me? There's no one else out here. Oh well, let them come for me. I think we're just, we're just gonna have to leave it here. T today has not gone <laughs> anywhere close to as I expected. I have made a couple of blunders here. But that's okay, it's all about learning what we can and cannot do. And we did some pretty crazy stuff anyway. Yes, this was a very anticlimactic episode, but... We're definitely going to change that. We're definitely, definitely going to change that. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Consider hitting the subscribe button. I try and upload every two to three days. If you like the video, hit like. Thank you so much. I super appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you.